Indra Marpong and welcome to a special conversation with the Finland Minister for Economic Affairs, Mr. Ville Rutman. Mr. Rutman, thank you so much for joining us here on the seat today. Thank you very much for the invitation. And welcome to Indonesia. Thank you so much. So, could you uh, enlighten us on the main objective of your visit this time round and then what do you hope to achieve in terms of uh, enhancing economic relation between Finland and Indonesia? Actually, even though our countries are pretty different, Finland a cold country and, and uh, much smaller in scale compared to Indonesia, so we're still facing the same uh, challenges when it comes to, for example, uh, climate change and also energy transition. And uh, Indonesia has uh, launched its own programs concerning carbon neutrality and, uh, and quite ambitious targets when it comes to different kinds of energy transitions. And Finland is a country where the cold climate has always forced us to do things uh, as efficiently as possible uh, because uh, there is always the need to keep houses warm and, uh, and uh, resources are of course always limited, so it's very important to be energy efficient. So we have created such technologies uh, and ways of doing things uh, that uh, have made us uh, as world leaders in many technological fields. And now as Indonesia is also striving uh, and uh, trying to achieve those aims uh, concerning carbon neutrality, so we do believe that several Finnish companies and their expertise might be of help uh, in this matter. And uh, we have actually quite big delegation with us, 15 uh, leading Finnish companies, and they see huge investment potential also here in Indonesia. So one of the big things is the 70th anniversary between Finland and Indonesia uh, diplomatic relations. So uh, this is such a momentous occasion. Could you share specific any initiative or agreements that you aim deepening between the two countries, between Indonesia and Finland? There has already been uh, a few memorandums of understanding between our countries, but uh, the latest one was signed uh, just yesterday. So we are now taking uh, new steps forward in our bilateral uh, cooperation. And uh, the newest project, uh, of course, is the Nusantara project, uh, a smart city project because uh, Indonesia is as, as you of course know, uh, planning for a new uh, capital city and uh, doing it uh, the most modern, wor uh, modern way. And we have several companies who have been specialized, specialized with uh, different kinds of smart city technologies when it comes to digitalization, energy solutions, uh, other types of uh, issues that can be done within the framework of uh, smart cities. So. Now, as Finland is already chosen as one of the knowledge partners in, uh, in Nusantara project, so now we are uh, aiming at uh, having some concrete outcomes uh, from that uh, uh, cooperation. And I really hope that several Finnish companies will be also involved in that Nusantara project. It's a very ambitious and great project. Right. That's interesting that you mentioned Nusantara and then you guys, as you mentioned earlier, you guys are uh, we, there's already an MOU between Finland and, as you mentioned earlier, there's already not only the governments that are coming in, but businesses are actually are coming in. So what type of collaboration are we, uh, we hope to see and what the impact do you see that's going to happen between the collaboration between Finland and Indonesia? I recognized uh, the fact that actually uh, the aims uh, that Indonesia has uh, set for itself, so they are actually such issues where Finnish companies have uh, expertise. So actually what Indonesia is uh, st striving at, uh, so, so it requires such technologies, such procedures that Finland uh, is very known uh, about. And uh, it's, uh, it's very good that uh, those companies have recognized the potential for cooperation. For example, smart city projects such as uh, Nusantara. So I actually could say that uh, Indonesian needs and uh, Finnish expertise match, match pretty well together. So, so there is a huge potential both economically and politically because uh, as uh, can be shown from our delegation here, both political and the entrepreneurial 
the business side uh, are pretty committed to this cooperation. Finland is known for sustainability and then the Santara focus on the ESG environment, social and the governance. Now, what kind of experience, or you mentioned earlier there are 15 different type of companies. Well, what can we see that we can, we can hope from, from Finland that we can see right away for, uh, that, that we can implement it in the Santara, the new capital city? There are several issues. For example, digitalization. So we have such companies uh, such as Nokia who can offer their 5G and 6G network cap capabilities. We have such a satellite company as uh, iSci who can also afford and, uh, and offer such uh, services that can be very useful, for example, uh, observing how the forest issues are going on uh, on this archipelago. And then we have such companies that are concentrated on energy issues and efficient energy policies. We have such companies as Virta, for example, who is offering uh, electronic vehicle charging station uh, programs and, and um, stations uh, around the globe. So several types of companies that can all, uh, also work together in order to reach those goals that smart city projects are striving at. Wow, it, it sounds like we, we're building for the future. We're not even we building just for, for today. Building for the future. All right, so as the Minister of Economic Affairs, what is your vision of the future economic cooperation between the two countries, between Finland and Indonesia? And which area do you believe that hold the most promise for the mutual devel development? There are several fields. As I have mentioned, all those that are in, uh, included in smart city programs, so they are of course uh, creating different kinds of ecosystems and, uh, and it applies several, several uh, fields uh, in economic affairs as well. But I would also like to underline that actually many Finnish companies that already have entered the Indonesian market, so they also hire local people and they are training them, educating them. And we have also such companies that are inviting Indonesian students to Finland to study at Aalto University. So there are also opportunities for, uh, for uh, getting the education level in Indonesia even better and uh, to transfer those uh, educational issues and uh, abilities that Finland have, has to Indonesia. So I truly believe that this is mutually very beneficial cooperation in all the fields. All right, so it looks like you guys as the government is already here, the business and then you guys already collaboration on the education for, that, for transfer knowledge. It looks like so many is happening right now. I look forward to what's going to be the next, the next one, for especially in Nusantara. Thank you so much for joining us. Is there anything else you would like to mention before we close our interview for right now? This is my first time in Indonesia, but I'm very convinced that it uh, won't be the last time because uh, I've been so uh, impressed and fascinated by the activities and positive outlook on the future that uh, this country has shown me. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Rutman, for being on the show. I look forward to see you again, hopefully sooner than later. Thank, thank you thank so you. much. All right, that's an interview with the Minister of Economic Affairs from Finland, Mr. Ville Rudman. I'm Indra Marwang, sign off for right now.